I can only express my deepest regrets that the political assurances given by two French ministers officially mandated to discuss this matter with the European Commission are now openly contradicted by an administrative circular issued by the same government. The role of the Commission as guardian of the treaties is made extremely difficult if we can no longer have confidence in the assurances given by two ministers in a formal meeting with two commissioners and around 15 senior officials on the table from both sides. Enough is enough. The European Commission's role as guardian of the treaty is one of the foundations of the European Union. A union which is held together not by force, but by the respect of the rule of law agreed upon by all member states, including by France. I take note that the French authorities seem themselves to become aware that the developments of this weekend put them into an untenable situation. And I also take note that yesterday afternoon the French Minister of the Interior signed a new circular on the matter, eliminating the references to specific ethnic groups, the Roma. Now we are currently looking at the legal implications of this, as it is important that not only words change, but also the behavior of the French authorities. I am personally convinced that the Commission will have no choice but initiate infringement procedures against France on two grounds. First, infringement procedures against France for a discriminatory application of the Free Movement Directive. Second, an infringement proceeding against France for lack of transposition of the procedural and substantive guarantees under the Free Movement Directive. I will, of course, give the French authorities the right to submit comments on the new developments in the course of the next days, but I make it very clear also to everybody, my patience is wearing thin. Enough is enough. No member state can expect special treatment when fundamental values and European laws are at stake. 